Hey, amazing people. Wow, it's just so sunny and green out here in the US. It's the time when you go out, you're in your shorts and t-shirt and you're relaxing. But guess what I decided to do? I decided to take a trip to New York, very close to the city of Manhattan, which a lot of you students love and enjoy and respect, right? So when you come to New York, the first thing that you notice is amazing crowds that are just always going in one direction as if they know exactly where they're going. I'm always amazed at what New York has to offer. But then you go through the crowds, you cut through all the traffic, you go through Times Square, which is one of the, the finest destinations, uh, to, tourist destinations to go and visit. But then there's Broadway, there's Central Park, there's just a ton of other things in New York City. But you walk slowly down Manhattan and you get to Brooklyn Bridge. And that's where some of the finest movies are also shot. I'm sure a lot of you know, right? There's Bollywood movies shot there as well. But then you cross the Brooklyn Bridge and you get to the other side and you have St. Francis College. It's an amazing school that's literally minutes, minutes away from New York City. And I was surprised and amazed. And I was I was thinking, you know, I should go and meet the people at St. Francis, see what they're up to and also give you students a taste of what St. Francis College is all about. Right. So if you're deciding that you want to study close to a city like New York, how does it feel like? What does it have to offer? Let's go and take a look. Let's talk to the people. Let's talk to students and figure out how you can study, get through and make a fun life out of your time at St. Francis College. Hello, everybody. We are here in... Brooklyn Heights. Did I say that? Right? Brooklyn yes, Heights. Yes. And right around the corner is the city of Manhattan. That's amazing. It's just, I literally walked on the Brooklyn Bridge. It took me like five minutes to get here. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and we are at the, we're actually at the residence hall of St. Francis College. And we're going to talk to Esther today. Yeah. Esther is actually a very important person when it comes to you people, international students especially, right? Because Esther, you handle, tell us a little about yourself and what you do for students. So I am the coordinator for international partnerships and programs. Now, what does that mean to you? It means that when the great partners at iSchool Connect send me your information, I make sure that you are prioritized and that we get your acceptances through right away. That's amazing. Okay, so Esther, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the international students that study here? How many of them are there and, um, and, and where do they live and what do they do here? We have an amazing, vibrant international student community here at St. Francis College. 15% of the total student population at St. Francis College represents over 70 countries. Over 45 languages are spoken at St. Francis College. What do they do? They study at an amazing school. Where do they live? In our residence halls, which you see. All right, amazing. So we are gonna head out there now, right? Let's do it. All right. So what you see here is the residence hall of St. Francis College. And just opposite to the residence hall is the great Brooklyn Bridge and the city of Manhattan. Just look at that amazing skyline. And here we are meeting Rob, who's the Director of Admissions at St. Francis. Hi, Rob. <laughs> Welcome to Brooklyn. Welcome to the historical Brooklyn Heights Promenade. And as you can see behind me, you see the Statue of Liberty, where millions of immigrants to the United States pass through. And if you choose to study right here at St. Francis College, you can walk to this promenade and see Lady Liberty every single day. You can also see the Freedom Tower, 1,776 feet tall. It's no coincidence that 1776 is also the year of our independence. But what I love best during the day is taking a walk out here to see the beautiful Manhattan skyline 
to see the Brooklyn, Manhattan, and Williamsburg bridges, the bridge to your dreams can start right here at St. Francis, where New York City is our campus and Brooklyn's our backyard. All right, so we're walking here with the team at St. Francis, and they've been great partners of iSchool Connect along, uh, along the way. Uh, so I want to ask you uh, specifically for, for students from Asia. You know, we have a lot of a lot of our listeners are from India and from Vietnam and Thailand. Um, how's the community here, especially for Indian students? New York City is the melting pot of the world, and at St. Francis College, we celebrate harmony and diversity. And our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion is second to none. So students from India, students from Vietnam, students from Thailand will feel at home right here in New York City, and in particular Brooklyn, where there are many ethnic enclaves that you can visit and be very close to home. The culture, the food, the people you interact with, you will see people from all over the world and people from India, Thailand, Vietnam, and across celebrate Terrier Pride worldwide because they feel like they belong right here in Brooklyn and right here in New York City. Wow, that's amazing, guys. Well, you see the Statue of Liberty here on this side. So you get a sense um, how this went around. And one of the best things to see here is not only do you get a view of the skyline, but when you look down, you see the beautiful Brooklyn Bridge Park, the second most populous park in New York City, only to Central Park. So the number of visitors to Central Park, number one, the number of visitors to Brooklyn Bridge Park, number two, you'll see basketball courts, there's a skating rink underneath there, you'll see some green space to the right, before you see the Brooklyn Bridge, but our NCAA Division I men's soccer team and our NCAA Division I women's soccer team play their home games at Brooklyn Bridge Park overlooking the Manhattan skyline. They are championship caliber teams and students from around the world play on both of those teams. Rob, tell us what NCAA is for our international students. So NCAA is the governing body for all college athletics and for all college sports. At St. Francis, we have 21 Division I sports, the highest level of competition in the country. And we have championship caliber teams that compete in the Northeast Conference. And we are Terrier through and through and loyal to thy red and blue. Okay, wow. So we have the Statue of Liberty. Right next to it, you see the little Staten Island Ferry. It's actually a pretty big ferry. It looks small on the screen. So we're gonna ask Esther about this ferry. Esther, tell us a little bit about Staten Island, its association with Manhattan, and that ferry, because that's an interesting one, right? Yes, that orange vessel that you see on the screen takes you super, super, super close to that Statue of Liberty, so you can go take pictures, take videos, send videos to your family back home, and it's 100% free. That's right, you get the view of Lady Liberty standing there, greeting you 100% free. Staten Island's one of the five boroughs of New York. It's an amazing place to go, great food, great time. You can go there and back for zero dollars. There's no doubt here at St. Francis College, we are Brooklyn tough. And you'll see this mural that was designed specifically for our students showcases everything that is incredible about Brooklyn. The Brooklyn Bridge, Brooklyn Brownstones, 
the subway, the entrance to St. Francis College, Rocky, the Terrier, who's our mascot, NCAA, Division I Athletics. And what you'll see is a slice of pizza shooting out from the bricks because Brooklyn pizza, there is none better. This is Gabby, people. This is Gabby, and now this is the Gabby Show. This is the Gabby Show. We'll get it together. <laughs> anyway, so here we have our double bedroom. In this first bedroom, we have a triple, which is just three beds. Each of the beds have their own dresser and their table. Um, and yeah, it's just a very comfortable space. It has a lot of light, you know, which is actually very rare in New York City to find. It's very spacious and they have their own bathroom. So our residence hall doesn't share like a communal bathroom for a whole floor. Each of the rooms have their own space, which is just two beds. And they share the bathroom that's right there, right outside, right there. So they also have their own space. Oh, and there's a little kitchenette. The kitchen comes with an oven, a pantry, the fridge, everything. Um, this is amazing. The, upper, uh -huh, the apartments that don't have that kitchen just have a regular pantry and a microwave and a mini fridge. It depends. Wow, this is my favorite room. If I if I was living in this dorm, this is where I would live. Look at this view. That's Manhattan. All right, people, so we are here talking to a very special person. This is Aryan Malik, and uh, Aryan is a student coming from India, right? What part of India are you from? New Delhi. New Delhi, wow, perfect. And there's a lot of Indian students who listen to our, our YouTube channels, and, uh, and they're going to be delighted to hear about your experience, Aryan. You are literally right opposite Manhattan. How do you feel studying here? Um, I would be honest, I feel amazing because as an Indian growing up, uh, you are very bound to think that you'll just stay in India and I think challenging that very thinking that you'll be able to grow out of your zone and think out of the box, I think that is something helped me come here. Of course, the support from my family and the institution itself helped me land my US visa, which we all know is how difficult to get. So I think that was one challenge. And of course, That's affordability right. is also something which was very difficult for me, which I was able to uh, help and talk through with my parents that you know this is an institution which works for both of us it mm. helps me with my goals and it also takes all the affordability goals and uh, yeah. last but not the least i think the small size of the school which really attracted me because it's uh, a small school like home away from home which makes you feel like you're part of a small community so i think all those factors you know help me make me live my dream today. oh that's amazing that's that's amazing guys right and by the way, all this noise around, this is part of life in New York. It's actually something you start to enjoy a little bit, especially our folks from Beijing and Mumbai. You're used to all this, right? Are you? All right, good. So, Aryan, uh, a lot of international students are usually worried whether they'll get their visa to the U.S., right? So, you came here on an F1 student visa, right? Yeah. So tell us a little bit about that experience. How did that happen for you? Yeah, so as I was saying, uh, you know, I was an international student and having the support of an international admissions counselor helped me a lot, uh, which means that I had a smooth process as I came here. Everything was done very quickly, which made sure that within the span of six months, I was able to come because as I've learned, you know, many international students, they like start planning at, like at least one or two years uh, right. before the time. So I think yeah. that really helped me. And for the visa interview, you know, I was just confident. I knew that um, I know my stuff and I was very confident in what I want to do. And I demonstrated that to the visa officer, which I think, you know, helped me get the visa. Got it. Perfect. Uh, so, Aryan, tell us a little bit about what's a day like in the life of uh, Aryan Malik here at St. Francis? My day usually starts at 7 in the morning when I wake up and um, I make food for myself, breakfast for myself, and then I head to my swimming lesson. After that, I go to an on-campus job that I currently work with the alumni office. It's a great job, you know, I uh, interact with yeah. uh, alumni and I work under the person who at the time of uh, coming here was my admissions counselor. So I'm oh, working wow. under the supervision of him. And then I usually work there till 3 ish and then I hit the gym. I work out for 2 to 3 And there, just tell me a little bit more, so you, you actually connect with alumni. 
Yeah. So that's actually good for you when it comes to even maybe finding a job, right? You never know. Definitely. Because alumni are in companies that might be of your interest, yes? Yeah? And yeah, this might surprise you. I've been able to connect with various nurse practitioners because my goal is to become a nurse practitioner. So I'm in regular touch with them, learning about what steps they took and how I can become successful. And as a matter of fact, one of them helped me get an internship with NYU Langone Health. Uh, I'll be working this June under the supervision of a registered nurse learning all the bedside care and how to go about it. So I think connecting with alumni really helped me in navigating through this job search process because I'm seeing a certain future for myself even before I have graduated. That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay. And I think this is something which is very essential for other international students to know because people are here to help you. They know that uh, you are going through a situation where you need, you might need sponsorship in the future. They know that. so. You just need to be keen on asking them for help and they will be there for you. So don't get scared that you know you, you will have you know face difficulties in the process. You just need to be consistent uh, and you know deliberate on what you want to achieve and you'll get there. Aryan just said something that is so important for every international student and you should remember that. That a lot of times it's it's not that you don't get help. You can get help. You need to ask the right question. You need to find the right advice. And there are so many people like Aryan, right? And and I'm sure you talk to a lot of students, your friends who are in India, you're trying to give them advice on how to do this, right? But look at Aryan. His backdrop is literally Manhattan. Great, great job, Aryan. I'm so happy and so proud of what you have seen. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> We are back on the Gabby show. Hello, Gabby. I missed you guys so much. <laughs> Come to the media room with me. All right, Gabby, so you're walking we, us through the media room. So okay. here we have our media room for San Francisco's residence life. Um, we have a TV, a sofa, we have a shuffleboard. Yeah. And we do have a partnership with Tulu, which is an app that you download on your phone. Oh, and with the app, you can rent everything that's here right now. So. You can do like virtual reality. Wow. Or there's also an air fryer, a PlayStation, a karaoke machine, vacuums. There's even scooters. Wow. A tripod. Just basically just anything you need. You can just like yeah. rent it right there. You swipe it over there with your QR code and you take it and you put it back. This is so innovative. This is amazing. I know, right? And it's so, so, so convenient for students. You know? and, and let me guess, the most used out of all of these items is the PlayStation. Actually, it's the scooter. The no, scooter, really? The scooters are <laughs> never here. The scooters are only here because there's no students in the building anymore. But the scooters, somebody wow. always takes them. Yeah, you got a bunch of healthy students here. Uh, health right, freak. Yeah. We're fit. We're fit. We're <laughs> You're fit. fit. Uh -huh. <laughs> so here we are. We have movie nights oh, okay. here all the time. The students can come here at any time. But nice. specifically residence life, the and all the RAs, we make sure to have, you know, just events like throughout the year so we can, you know, just have fun and bond. That's and amazing. create sort of more of a community around in the residence life. So yeah. Wow. Now let me take you to the kitchen. So oh, some right. of our apartments have their full kitchens, but some of them just have a pantry and a mini fridge and stuff. So we have our communal kitchen that you can come here. Students that don't have kitchen in their own rooms just come here to cook and stuff, and they can be going from there. Oh Everything. wow! So yeah. you provided all the utensils and no <laughs> everything. No. <laughs> we do not. It's What's the, all this then? It's theirs. It's theirs. But they oh. can just leave it there. Yeah. Oh okay. Oh, so you can just leave it there, and mm -hmm. these are all spices belonging to somebody. Yeah, they all belong to someone else. And here we have like a little mini market. Um, that also works too. You just take anything and swipe it over there. And just yeah, it. got it. This is yeah. great. Just like a few little snacks. Especially if, you're, if we're having like a moving night, the snacks, you know, they're a clutch. Oh, yeah, it's also good if you're cramming before finals mm -hmm. to have your five hour of energy, mm -hmm. water, things to munch on on hand. That way you can study all night long. And speaking about studying, we can go to the study lounge. Oh, let's do oh, that. Oh, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're heading to the study lounge. So here we have it. It's super spacious, as you can see. Sometimes we hold events here for residence for residence life as well. We have puzzle nights and stuff here, and movie trivia and stuff. So yeah, but it's Amazing. mostly just like yeah, study space. And we do have quiet hours after ten, so don't worry about like any other students like making noise or anything. You can just study in peace. Got it. And right next to it, we do have our basement laundry room. It's the laundry room that has most, like, you know, like, 
dryers and, and washers and stuff. Yeah, but yeah. So good. they can just come here and and pay two dollars twenty five. Uh huh. With that, with an app that we have, it's called Magic Pass. Sure. So they pay. Oh, I had that at, at Bentley. I remember. Uh huh. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, we also have laundry rooms on on every floor until floor five. Oh wow, thinking. that's amazing. Okay, Aryan. So this is where you work, huh? Tell us um, a little more. Yeah, this is the alumni office and this is like one block down from the R180 Lemson campus. So we are main responsibility is to make sure that we are connecting with the alumni, making sure they're engaged and bringing them over to the campus to enlighten the students like me and connecting with them so that we can know what the industry opportunities exist for us. Actually, That's one amazing. of the opportunities that I have right now, I got through one of the uh, alumni and I think it's really a great place for people like me to uh, navigate through and connect with other people uh, who are in the industry. Great. Wow, this is awesome. Well, guys, I hope you liked that video. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget that it's the law. You got to do that so you can get access to more of my videos. I'm going to look at more institutions and show you what they got, what they have to offer. Take care. Good luck.